If you've been injured, the insurance company that you hear from is not there to help you. Don't get bullied by insurance companies. Call Jason Ernest and bully them back at 775-727-9500. Yesterday, Kevin Dent, who took a plea deal alongside his girlfriend, Heather Pate, regarding the murder of Roy Jaggers, stood at the witness stand to testify. Kevin Dent begins with testifying that after he and Pate got home from playing pool at a bar, they reviewed their security footage as they had suspicions that Roy Jaggers allegedly molested Pate's four-year-old son. After calling Roy over so he and Pate could interrogate him, Dent recalls Pate striking Jaggers multiple times in the head with her fists after Roy gave an answer she didn't like. While being struck, Roy allegedly got up and that's when Dent moved from the kitchen and struck Roy himself multiple times in the face with his fists. They then leave for Pahrump after restraining Roy. The intention was to meet Brad. Brad was supposed to secure a location that was deserted and he was to be dropped off it. To find his way back to Vegas or wherever. After Pate and Dent allegedly meet up with Maine at the shooting range, Maine allegedly confronted a restrained Jaggers. Brad had asked him why he had done what he had done, by the accusation of, of touching other's child. And then he made it a point to say that this was his girl, his boys. And Roy just said he said he apologized, he was sorry, he didn't mean to do it. He said, well, this is what happens to Chomos. And now here, um, God, do you understand me? And when he said, do you understand me? He knelt down to Roy and said, do you understand me? Boy. And Roy sarcastically answered him back, yes, God. According to Dent's testimony, Maine allegedly shot around Roy's head with a gun after Roy's response. Then Maine allegedly struck Roy with his belt until the buckle broke off, then proceeded to bring out various tools to allegedly hurt Roy, including, as Dent describes, an axe-hammer combo that he allegedly used to strike Jaggers three times with the blunt side, a bayonet, Maine allegedly used on Jaggers anal cavity, a stapler, and finally a blowtorch allegedly used on Roy's back and shoulders. Upon going to Cathedral Canyon, afterwards, Brad allegedly kicked Roy off the cliff after having Heather strip him, and allegedly shot at Roy three times, the last shot hitting Roy. Heather, Kevin, and Brad allegedly ran back to their cars to leave after Dent hears someone call for the police. During Tom Gibson's cross-examination, Dent admitted that he and Pate used methamphetamines days prior to the incident, and stated that the night they played pool, they were on cocaine. When Heather allegedly called Brad, Dent believed she was calling the police. Dent says he was reluctant to intervene with Brad's alleged shooting due to Maine's gun. But you do acknowledge that you made mistakes, Daddy. I do. And is that why... You pled guilty to murder second degree? Stay tuned for this developing story tomorrow.